What's going on, guys? It's Jazzy, and today I'm here with dancehall artist Mr. Skilly Bang. Mr. Bang, how you doing today? I'm here, Jazzy. What's up? You good? Yep, I'm great. You ready? I'm always ready. So your music has grown popularity across the world. So how important was it for you to continue to represent dancehall culture on a global scale? Um, I mean, it's my number one priority as uh, my nationality uh, made me so much of a, a, a powerful person around the world musically. I mean, it's a very important thing for me. And I mean, anybody else would consider that as an important thing, you know, and, and, and it's not heavyweight, but it's just I think it's just my duty to continue doing the same. Right. That's definitely understandable, and it's very important to represent who you are and where you're from as well. And I know that dancehall music is very important to Jamaican culture and Jamaican music. I really like the way that you've been able. I find it great how you've been able to push the culture forward. Yeah, yeah, and it, it, not everybody could do that. And you know, that's when you know you're a little bit special right. and different from everybody else because, you know, a lot of huge countries, you know, different countries from Jamaica, a, a lot of countries outside the Caribbean are really interested in Skilly Bang. And, you know, that's just the work being put in. Right, you're being noticed from across the world. So that's really cool. You too. <laughs> Thank you. After a scary car accident in Jamaica where your car flipped over, you decided to dedicate all your time and efforts into your music career. So how important was this moment in your life and what important lessons did you gain from that experience? It was a very important time in my life because it was a very important decision. And the lesson I got from that was, you know, life only gives you one chance to do what you can really do. You know, so you just have to use that opportunity you get to really focus on what you need to focus on instead of having your focus all around the place on different things that are not really beneficial for you. You know, so just focus on what you do the best. That's what, that's, that's what I learned from that. Yeah, that's right. Well, everyone should know that you only live once and it's important to live your life to the fullest and put your full effort into everything that you do. Tomorrow's never promised. Yeah, yeah. So you have to you have to really give it your all every single day. Yeah, every single day, 100 percent. As, as soon as you wake up and, and not every I, I don't really sleep, but as soon as you wake up and whenever you whenever you think you're going to fall asleep, straight until that time that's how hard you go 100 percent as soon as as soon as you wake up until you go to your bed you go 100 percent straight through do 100 percent the whole day give it your all you never know when you could um you know get a breakthrough right so i know that vibes cartel is your favorite all-time musician so in what ways has he influenced you as an artist i mean in so many ways it's 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 unthinkable vibes cartel was was my main influence in dancehall music and I mean he taught me a lot he taught me so much that it's it's too much to cover and and he taught me all of this with, with just being an example I just started um talking to vibes cards are like you know over text messages or over messages through people since like 2021 2022 but before I hadn't met Cart vibes cards yet he was just a mentor to me in my younger stages of my career where, you know, everything that person did, he, was, he did it the right way in my eyes, and I thought I should do it just like that. So, you know, big up to Vibes Cartel. It's very important to be inspired by the people who come before you, especially artists. And I, find, I also find it great that you have been able to create a bond with, with an artist that you looked up to. I find it great too. That was a wonderful opportunity for me and I hope everybody gets to work with their mentor in life. Yes, that's understandable. And I understand where you're coming from because I have a lot. I miss Angie Martinez, she's my mentor and I actually do look up to her too. I look up to a lot of hosts and journalists and, as well. And you can't wait to work with them, right? Yes, I, I can't wait till I'm able to work with like Oprah Winfrey and all of them. You will, you will, you're on your way to it. You know, and, and, and as a young girl, Thumbs up for being so, um, you know, at it. You never stop. You do what you do. And, and, and a lot of people are, are, are paying close attention to you. And I think Oprah Winfrey and all those people you said that are your mentor are looking at you too right now. So just keep it up. And you, you reach where you want to reach. Well, thank you so much. What are your thoughts about many people labeling you as the future of dancehall music? If the people say that, that's, that's just what we got to work with. Because, you know, I, I didn't say that. It, it's what the people think. And 
it's a great thing, it's a great feeling, and I just got, I just feel like I just need to continue doing what I do best, you know? You know, congratulations on all your hard work, and you've had success even early on in your career. I can't wait to see what's going to come in the future, and you have a lot more success in the future. Yeah, same to you. But just let me say, you are a, a, a big inspiration to a lot of young kids around the world. I know a lot of young kids that look up to you and want to be something just like you. You know, you, you, right. your speech is, 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 is correct. How you do, you're, you're professional already at this young age. Just keep doing what you do, and I think you'll be number one. Thank you so much for that. And you too, I can't wait to see what's going to go on in the future. And there's a whole lot more success to come to you. So I'm excited to see what else is going to come out. Yeah, me too. Are there any collabs that you'd like to do in the future? And if so, this is your time to name drop. No, I don't really look at collaborations like that. Music is more of a natural thing to me. You know, as, as you go by, who you're supposed to collaborate with, you will collaborate with. In my younger stages of music, I wanted to collaborate with Vibes Cartel, which I already did. So that was my goal, and that was my collaboration goal. And I already got it twice. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just thankful for, for even being able to do that. Well, that's nice to know, and it's really great how you've been able, since he inspired you so much and you looked up to him, you've, you've actually been able to collab with him. So what is your favorite thing about Jamaica, and what's your favorite thing about being Jamaican? My favorite thing about Jamaica is the culture, and my favorite thing about being Jamaican is the food. You know, I've actually been to Jamaica before, and Jamaica's very beautiful, and I had a great experience there with my siblings. What about the food? Okay, you didn't let me finish. Just gotta say, the food is also fire. The food is fire over there. Yeah, I know it. I know yeah. it. It was nice meeting you, Jazzy. It was a very nice interview. I, I've, I've been waiting on this interview for a long time. I've been watching you on the internet, and Thank it's you. been a great experience. Thank you for having me. No problem. Thank you. It was really nice meeting you. Well, can you please share some words of motivation to everyone watching my show? I definitely could. Um, words of motivation for me would just be to do what you love, continue doing what you love, spend time doing what you love, and it will definitely pay off. Well, thank you so much for those wise words. Well, guys, you heard it from Mr. Skilly Bang himself. And until next time, jazzing out.